I'm about to test myself to see how far my brain will go to seek meaning. What will I perceive if I starve my senses in this unusual laboratory? It's a very strange feeling. It, al it almost feels like um, a lot of effort to talk. My voice doesn't go anywhere. This is an anechoic chamber, a soundproof room with giant foam wedges that absorb all reverberation. It's the closest I can get to experiencing total silence. I'm also going to lose my sight. So here's the plan. The door's gonna close. The lights are gonna go off. There's gonna be no sound. I wonder what's gonna happen. In fact, this room comes with a health and safety warning. Extended periods inside can cause anxiety, even hallucinations. Guiding the experiment is Professor David Allay, Hi, David. an expert in perception and sensation. How long do you think I'll last in here without any sensory experience? You know, as little as 15 minutes can set people off if they're prone to have hallucinations. It can be very unsettling and very threatening. So you say hallucinations. What are we talking about? Like spiders crawling up walls? Like Potentially. Um, common ones are faces. OK, I was just joking with that, so <laughs> the, the, uh, well... potentially. David will keep an eye on me via infrared cameras. <sighs> I'm nervous. To tell you the truth, I don't, I don't trust my brain. I don't know, um, I don't know how haywire it's going to go. Okay, Lily, we're ready to go. How are you? Ready to start? Uh, I guess so. But once the door closes, I won't hear or see a thing. So freaky. This is really uncomfortable. <laughs> My heart's beating really fast. I can feel the, the, the blood in my head pumping. It's the is like thick. <laughs> I I feel like I'm in this like black black soup. And you can see she's struggling in a way to describe how it feels because it's just so foreign to her. <laughs> I don't want to be in here for 15 minutes. When you come in here, there's no sound, and when the lights are out, there's no light. So we have a brain that's trying to predict things that might be happening out there, but there's no input to confirm or anchor those in reality. I'm kind of feeling dizzy. I'm just 10 minutes into the experiment when my perception starts to fabricate a reality on its own. Whoa. It's a flash of light. Just in my brain. What the? I see kind of light in my eyes dancing around, but across like a horizon, or like a, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, okay, that's really weird. She's starting to see certain things now. So her active brain can't, can't slow down. She's, the brain's always trying to predict what it's seeing, what's going on, and so she's starting to get that now. I hear sounds. And one of the things that happens is your neurons are never totally quiet. 
there's always a low level of background firing in neurons, even without input. So to some extent, there is still some sensory weak signals going on and the brain's busily trying to interpret them and see what they are, so. I still see light in my eyes, kind of dancing around, kind of like um, cloud of gas or something. I, I hear like kind of the sound of almost like trucks going past or definitely hear a low droney sound. I do feel like I'm going slightly insane. Okay, I'm done. Lily? <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, it's a bit bright in here. Yes. How long did I, was I there for? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yes. So you did have hallucinations then, didn't did you? Did I? Yeah, well, yeah, you saw oh. patterns of light. We can call that a hallucination. Yeah. And you heard sounds. Oh, cool, so I hallucinated. <laughs> Let's call that a hallucination. <laughs> That's awesome. What does it say about my brain? just that it's always active in trying to interpret uh, what's going on and make predictions. And, you know, with nothing to pin those down on, no reality coming in through your senses, it gets a bit wayward and, and um, yeah, they become hallucinations. It's scary that hallucinations can be just 10 minutes away. <laughs> I really feel like that was plenty of evidence for me that Perception, our experience of the world, really does happen in the brain. That's enough for me. My experiment demonstrates that your mind can invent experiences out of thin air.